Hello friends, welcome back to Online Mass Up. We have this uh, question right here to solve. So this is x power 4 is equal to 2, uh, 5, 6. So we've been asked to uh, find all of the roots of this equation. Okay, so but just before we proceed, if you are new to our channel, do well to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and then of course turn on the notification icon so that you will always get notified each time we release new content. Okay, and of course, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much. And then hit the like button even as we proceed in this video. Okay, so moving on, I can actually rewrite all of this stuff right here. So I can write this x power 4 here as x power 2 and then power 2. And then this is a 2, 5, 6. We can actually write it as 4 raised to power 4. Okay, I can also rewrite this stuff as i wrote this one okay so i can write this as 4 power 2 okay and then of course power 2 then let me bring this stuff to the uh, left hand side so that what i'm gonna be having is x power 2 okay and now is the power 2 minus 4 power 2 okay and then exponent 2 this is equal to 0 so clearly here you can see that we have difference of two squares okay and then of course you can remember that if you have a squared and then minus b squared that you can expand this to be a plus b and then of course multiply by a minus b so in this case, our a is equal to x power 2. And then our b is equal to 4 power 2. Okay, so that if I now uh, evaluate this further, I can actually expand that as x power 2 plus 4 power 2. Okay, and then multiply by x power 2 minus 4 power 2. Because this is equal to zero and so what we're going to be using to simplify for that here is actually the zero product rule which basically say that when the product of two or more terms is equal to zero you can actually guarantee that it has either one of the terms is equal to zero all of the terms are equal to zero so here uh, this stuff imply that this either x squared uh, plus 4 squared is equal to 0 or x squared minus 4 squared is equal to 0 okay so if i decide to pick this and solve first so let's deal with that case first this is x squared i can just take this uh minus 4 power 2 to the right answer right answer so that i will have that this is x squared is equal to uh, 4 squared okay x squared is equal to i can write this as 16 4 squared is actually 16 so that what i'm what i'm gonna do next is actually to take the square root of both sides okay so plus or minus the square root of 16 this can actually cancel this and then i'm left with x to be equal to plus or minus the square root of 16 is actually 4 okay so here we are getting the first two values of x which of course is equal to positive 4 and then of course is also equal to negative 4 okay so what we'll do next is actually to come over to this case and then get the remaining values of x so continuing here what we have is x squared plus 4 squared is equal to 0 so if i actually if i push this to the right hand side so i'm gonna be having x squared is equal to negative 4 squared okay so i can also write this as negative 4 squared is 16 so what we have there is negative 16 and then uh, I can also go ahead to take the square root of both sides. Okay. 
and that will give me plus or minus the square root of negative 16 this two we cancel this and then x is equal to plus or minus i can actually write this negative 16 as negative 1 multiplied by 16 okay so that this can also be plus or minus negative uh, square root of negative 1 and then multiply by square root of 16 okay so that we have that x is equal to plus or minus root negative 1 is equal to i and then multiplied by root uh, 16 and that will be equal to 4 okay so that eventually x is equal to plus or minus 4i okay and then you can see clearly here that it's turning to values of x positive 4i and then of course negative 4i okay so putting everything together x1 so let me time the first one x1 is equal to positive 4 and then let me time the second one x2 is negative 4 Okay, that of the third value of x is positive 4i. And then the fourth value of x, we've got it to be negative uh, 4i. So these are the uh, four values of x, both the real values and then, of course, the complex values of x that is going to satisfy the problem we are solving. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and then, of course, subscribe to our channel. Share this video with your friends so that they will also get to enjoy it. Of course, I'm going to see you guys in my next video.